Okay, so you probably bought one of my 3DSs on eBay and you want to know how to set up the streaming for it. Uh, it's really easy, I made a video on this in the past, but uh, my eBay account actually got shut down so I had to create a new eBay account um, and I thought I'd do an updated video on how to set everything up since it's, it's a lot easier now. So all you gotta do is connect your 3DS to the home internet to just your internet at home, whatever internet you use, just connect to it. Um, now, what you're gonna do is go to the homebrew launcher, is the app right here, and it's the H. So open that up, and there's an app right here called CHMM2. So you open that up. Now on the bottom screen, bottom right hand corner, there's gonna be a number right here. Um, yours is probably going to be different, so write this number down, or remember it. Well, write it down, because you're going to need it. Now you can just press A to go back to the home menu. And once you're here, you can open up NTRCFW. So this is your streaming app. Every time you turn on your 3DS, you're going to start this application up. Um, it's going to automatically load it up for you and then take you back to the home screen. Now it's your 3DS is ready to stream. So now on your computer, um, you're going to, there's gonna be two app, or there's gonna be one app that you're gonna need to stream and that's KitKat. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. So all you gotta do is download this application. Um, and once you have it, open it up. It's going to give you an error message every time, don't worry about that. And here's the application. So this is where you need to type in that number that you remembered, or wrote down. And mine is 192.168.1.100, so you're going to type that in in KitKat right here. You just type that in. Okay. And now you're pretty much done. Um, all you got to do is hit connect and it's gonna start streaming your 3DS. Here's your 3DS, and there's, there's the stream. Um, okay, yeah, there you go, just to show you. Um, now I'm gonna quickly show you how to adjust the size of the, the stream being captured, so. Yeah, I know this is really big. This is a huge picture right here. You can make your bottom screen bigger. You can make this smaller. You can do whatever you want. So in KitKat, there's a little settings icon right here. You click on it, and then it's going to show top screen, scale, bottom screen, scale. And you can just type in numbers however you want to adjust it. So it's my top screen is at 4.4. I'm not sure what that stands for, but if I do like 5... And then I go back here and hit connect. It's going to get a little bit bigger. So now you can barely see my top screen. Okay, now I'm going to quickly show you how to um, how to stream or how to record this stream. Let me bring that back up. Okay, so if you don't know what OBS is, OBS is um, an application people use to stream video games on Twitch. You can also record, like you can set up a face cam with it and put an overlay over your capture card or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the basic setup, just how to get your capture card running so that you're able to record it. So you're gonna open up OBS. I'll leave another link down in the description for this. Um, if you, This is for people who don't know how to use OBS. See, that's, that's me right there. Um, and I have a face cam set up with uh, my 3DS running at the same time. So you can see I'm controlling my 3DS, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so let me take this stuff off so that I can show you how to add it. Okay. All right. Um, so you have your, your capture card running in the background. 
Um, you're in OBS and you have a black screen. This is what it's going to look like when you first open it up. So what you're going to do is right click down here in sources. See down here. And you're going to do hover over add. Then you're going to go down to window capture. And if you don't have any other windows open right now, um, it might automatically see it. But look, you go to window and you choose NTR viewer. I believe that. Yep. NTR viewer. And that's your capture card and you click OK. So now you have your capture card pulled up in OBS and now you can record whatever your capture card is seeing. You can move it around by, you know, you, you can figure it out. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to use OBS, how to use overlays and things like that. Um, how to separate the bottom and top screen. That's a big one that people need to do. Um, there's a ton of things you can do with this app, but I'm just showing you how to get into it set up the capture card and start recording. So once you've got this, um, you can basically just start recording just like that. Click start recording. And it's recording everything I'm doing right now. So this is my 3DS. I'm just moving it around a little bit so I can show you the recording after. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now I can stop recording and then um, now I'll find the recording. So I'm just going to exit out of everything now just to show you. Um, videos. Now here's the recording. And it's recording everything I'm doing right now. <laughs> and so, there's my voice, so is. my computer picked up my my audio too. I'm just moving it around a little bit so I can show you the recording after. And it's really smooth. You can see this is the recording. Yeah, you can see it's pretty smooth. Now I can Alright, that's about it. Um hope this helped and uh good luck.